Yeah, I so fat for them bitches still hating on you. Met the lighters, we were supposed to meet, I was waiting on you. You ain't show up and I still didn't accept it yet. You know I'm working, about to show you how my summer gets. So much long nights trapping, trying to chase a check. All these niggas dumb fucked and I'm still the best. So for me, it was mostly like when I started making music before, I realized I was kind of getting a little buzz in Toronto. People always want to hear what I had to say, even though if I wasn't the best. They always want to hear what I had to say, so that I realized once I kept going more consistent, I kept getting better and better, and then I just kept getting more traction in the city. And then I finally got to like, I got like my hits in Toronto, you know? And then, like, okay, yeah, yeah, I see the vision with this. And then one of those songs that actually did good for me in Toronto, got to like the OVO camp and then Drake found out about it and then he showed um, love to my songs and then to me he followed me on Instagram and then from there that gave me motivation also and then I just kept going consistently you know I had a little break in between those times but then I always just knew like I have to just keep keep going and then I went to Los Angeles for my first time and then that's where I actually met Drake in person. And then just seeing like LA for the first time, all the celebrities motivated me even more. I'm just like, oh yeah, this life is crazy. And when I first came to LA too, I thought for some reason I was only gonna see Lamborghinis on the streets. Right. Like I just thought it was just like the rich fucking city. But then, yeah, everything still um, motivated me. I remember I was on, I think it was Fairfax. And I see Fabulous right beside me, and I was just tripping out. I was like, no way, like, we never see this type of stuff in Toronto. Like, this is the famous person right beside me. So then, all that, that whole trip motivated me. I went to the studio, like, every day, and we just kept going up from there. I started with a Rusty, upgraded to a Revy. Nine on me, you can't test me. Ice on me, like Gretzky. So, it was mainly in, like, Toronto and then it kept it kept going to like the other places in Canada too, you know? And then I'm just like, holy, um, I have to just keep going because like I seen the vision after that. I'm just like, I don't want to be in the streets forever. I want to be fucking like Drake. I see that vision. I'm like, oh yeah, this is the life I want to live. So then I just kept doing music. And then I was still in the streets, but then I got, um, I pled guilty to my firearm charge. And then I did like three months for it, something like that. And then I was going for parole um, while I was in jail. And then while I was in there, Drake posted to his Instagram about he was dropping Scorpion. And he was just like, this was an inspiration. One of like my album was on heavy rotations that he posted like a screenshot like of the albums that inspired him for Scorpion. And I'm hearing this while I'm in jail. Like I was calling my girl and she just updated me with what happened today. And I'm like, no way. I'm like, and I'm in here? I'm like, nah, like, you know, I'm like, that really woke me up. Um, and I just started writing from in there. And I'm just like, I'm never, I'm I really like coming out and I'm doing this, you know? And then. As I was going for parole, the lady that was gonna grant me the parole, like she kinda believed in my whole vision. Like also what helped too was just that whole co-sign from Drake also too. So, you know, shout out Drake. Love you, my brother. And she was actually lived on the same street as him in Toronto. So it's kinda like everything went super good for me. I'm like, I can't look back. I have to just go crazy. Yeah. She wanna celebrate, but right now I ain't celebrating. While we waiting, I'm on beat skating. I never bring people where I'm staying. I can't trust them. What are they relaying? So I was in a group of it was three of us, and it was called Garden Gang. We're from Pelham Park Guardians, and I was like the least favorite of the group just because I was like the least. They all always freestyle, and I wasn't a rapper. I never. I made, I booked the studio session for them at first, cause I'm like, yo, these guys are talented. They always just rap in the hood. I'm like, let's go to the studio. 
and then they kind of forced me to get on the song too so that's why i was like the least favorite and then we kept doing stuff songs and then i realized okay i'm kind of like getting my little shine too and then i did a song called garden girl and that was my first time like okay this was my hook i went crazy off of that you know and then I did the next song, Nine On Me, and now I was on the hook again. And then that one was just like, okay, yeah, this guy, and that was the song that Boy Wanda got, which is so crazy. He just told me the story, um, where were we? In New York, we're at an after party, just like right now, like when Drake was performing. And then he actually told me just like, cause I never asked him, like, I know it was you that showed the song to, to Drake, like Nine On Me, you know, but I'm like, How'd you even hear the song Nine On Me? You know, he's just like, and he finally told me, he just say, you know what's so crazy? It was a girl from your hood that actually showed the song to me. Say, like, take in this thing, this guy's song. And I'll just say, no way. A little garden girl put you on my shit. So then that was so sick to me. And then, yeah, so then he showed that song to Drake. And then, yeah, from there, that's how that started. But then, for me right there those songs yeah it took me out of like kind of had more like it just brought me out like and then from there we went we got arrested together i started doing my own career because like we couldn't make music together no more but i'm like oh i already see the vision i'm like i'm not gonna stop because we're we can't make music together i'm gonna keep going i'm, like, I'm gonna make music in my crib because i was on house arrest and i'm like i'm gonna shoot the video in my backyard in the basement, everything. I didn't stop. Nothing. Yo, this is for all you niggas. I just want to stay in Toronto. Oh, I stay in my city. I play my block. Shut the fuck up, man. We'll take a trip. We'll fucking open your mind and yeah, man. Look at this shit, man. We in the fucking. Huh? So my first name was Double B, stand for Big Boy. Okay. And I, I, I like this. Some of my OGs didn't like it. Eh? Why are people calling you? Don't be. They, they didn't like it. Like, it's too close to like, it sounded like the bra size or something like that. Like some, something like that. So then I didn't, I didn't see it like that, but whatever. Uh, and that RP Clips too, he, he told me that. And then, um, I don't know. I just was in the trap after that. And I realized I'm like, okay, just because I'm rapping right now and I'm also trapping, I'm like, I can't have the same name for both, because then it'll be too easy for the cops. So I'm just like, I need a trap name now, since my rapper name was Double B. I'm like, okay, I was in the trap one day and I was just looking around, and I just realized I'm making all these fiends laugh and everything, I was just by myself in there. And I'm just like, yo, Smiley, like, I asked one of the fiends, I'm like, what do you guys think about if you guys just start calling me Smiley? Don't call me Double B no more. They're like, we like it, we like it. And from there, later that day, I went to a junction, 20 minutes away from my neighborhood, and I tatted this. I, I was just feeling myself. I'm like, bro, I'm a guy, like, I'm alone. Like, I was in the trap by myself, even though I have so much friends. Like, but I just, like, when I'm locked in, to just be by myself, and, like, that's my best way to lock in, you know? Could've checked your tags. Yeah, could've checked that shit. Man, and maybe I try and figure why I left like this. I'm so intoxicated. She's so bad when she left. I started masturbating. Two story condo and the chef's just waiting. Why all these games we playing? New Grizzly like a rake. I have these niggas dropping. I'm so OVO. Song can sign another offer. I love my garden bitch. Oh, shit, how she hit the chopper. Yeah, um, I did what I did. Nine, nine song EP. And I just wanted to feed the streets because I have so much music that I realized I want to just keep feeding the streets. Bear tapes, like so much tapes, because I feel like that's the type of artist I am. Like, like you know how Gucci kept dropping so much tapes? Like, I feel like that's my path right now. So I'm working on my other tape that I'm going to drop by the end of this year. Probably in two months or three months. It's like already 80% done. So I'm going to start... Yeah, I'ma just keep dropping. I realistically like came from like oh leave my neighborhoods. You a lot of people would never even know where that is. Like we never had no one from our neighborhood. Nothing like I actually came like and did damage from a place you would never even know about by myself. Like and like obviously what happened after, but it's like yeah, like I don't 
I'm a guy, so. Big member. Come on, night owl shit. Sir, um, Smiley Sixty First on every every platform you guys can find it there. I'm super active on all of them, even TikTok right now. I love TikTok. Shout out my TikTok guys. Yep, Smiley Sixty First in the building. And shout out you for taking your time today to interview me. You know. 100%. Had a good time. Hi, my name is Smiley, and you just been buzzed.